I love watching basketball. Sometimes fans compile these videos of players suddenly moving in sync. They are mesmerizing to watch. In the chaos of a basketball game, how can different people suddenly move together in unison, as if they are following some mysterious choreography? We know they are random occurrences, but we also want to believe magic, something surprising and beautiful, can really happen in our daily lives. For the same reason, I love dancing tango. In social tango, there is also no choreography, but I can dance in perfect unison with my partner. It's like we know what each other is thinking. This sensation is really hard to describe by words. Maybe that's what having a twin sibling feels like. I can create this connection with strangers in faraway places, where I don't speak their language at all. Tango is not limited by gender, age, geography, culture, or race. If I make an invitation to the woman and she accepts my invitation, there's a good chance that I can create a magic connection with her on the dance floor. I want to talk about connection today, because I've heard a story from someone. He has danced for more than a year, and he has felt this connection with a few people. He wants to know how he can create this connection more often and with more people. I'm not sure there's one formula, and I think every dancer has his own secrets. But there are a few things about tango connection that I think are true. First. It is easier to create connection with people who are similar to us. For example, if we have the similar body type like height and bone structure, or if we study the same dance technique, we study with the same teacher or follow the same embrace and walking style. All those things make making connection with people easier because we are moving in similar ways. It also helps if the two people listen to the music in the same way. For example, we both love the violin, or we listen to the same rhythmical structure. Chances are, it's easier for us to find each other in those musical elements in the dance. Second, experience really helps. Dancing with many different kinds of people over a longer period of time will make our dance more mature. It will help us to understand how to make connection with people who are very different from us. If you have driven many different kinds of cars, chances are you'll become an expert driver. For me, the most important thing is the willingness of the mind. How can this magical connection happen? It's because both of us really want it to happen. When we want it so much, we forget about ourselves and we focus on the other person. We don't worry that we are not perfect. We don't worry about our technique. Instead, we try to listen to the other person without judgment and without interpretation. To me, that is the basis of a perfect connection. This is also why I love using Kawaseo. If a lady looks at me from across the room. And send me a signal with her eyes that she wants to dance with me. Chances are she really wants to connect with me. And if I look back at her, it's a proof to myself that I also want to connect with her. For me, that's a great starting point for a tango connection. On a basketball court, when players suddenly start moving in unison, those are random occurrences. But in tango, although there's no guarantee, making connection with people is something that I can study and become good at. That's why I love tango. I love tango. We hope you enjoy our video. Please subscribe to our channel. See you next time.